Hello everybody. So today I will be explaining to you guys what I did and what I studied in order to pass the phlebotomy technician exam on like the NHA phlebotomy technician exam. So basically for me personally, I mostly use the NHA study guide and the NHA practice test, which I believe there were like seven practice tests. Yes, I mostly use those two things in order to study. So first for the study guides, for the study guide, um, it had it has seven modules inside of it. I mostly only went through module two through module six because module one is just like from fundamental knowledge, like anatomy and things that you most people just already know. And then the seventh module was like a simulation, so there was nothing really like new in it. So the core modules that I actually like focus into are modules two through module six. So the first thing is. What I did was I plainly, the first time when I actually opened those modules, I only like read, I read through modules two through module six, just plainly reading through them. I did not take notes. I did not do anything. I just read through them just to like, you know, like get an idea of all the information that's in it. When I was done reading through them, I went back again and I started actually now taking notes of all the Inform only like the key information in each module and not take notes of like the other information I already knew or other information that was kind of like what just logical if that makes sense and I just took notes and when I was done taking notes um I just started studying the notes that I took you know because like by that time when I was done taking all the notes from a single module like I got really close to the exam so I didn't really have time to go back again like to start like reviewing them and okay now for the practice test so again, there are seven practice tests, and what I did was we for my course, like in my class, we mostly only took the practice test during class time. But for me, I feel like something that's very important for you to do as you are taking the practice test in NHA is you have to look at so like usually like NHA what it does is whenever like you like click an answer and you submit your answer for a question, it tells you A, if that question is right or wrong, and B, it tells you the explanation of why that answer is right and why the other why the other responses are wrong. I would say it's very important for you to actually look at um, that those explanations of why the answer is right and why the, the other answer the other like what responses are wrong because for the test itself it has very similar questions as well to the practice test so if you know why the other responses were wrong and why one is right you would most likely also be able to like answer a lot of the questions that are actually on the actual test itself now so the the so yeah so that's what i did for me when i took the exam i only studied the study guides like i just explained and I also looked at the explanations when I actually did take the practice test. Now, there's one other thing that others of my classmates did, which was um, they used Quizlets actually to study for the practice, that, for the um, exam itself. So what they did is that they searched up NHA for bottom tradition um, exams, like practice exams on like Quizlets. And they would basically just like would go through the Quizlets like and just like go through like different Quizlets of the NHA phlebotomy exams. And those Quizlets would like mostly have like, t like exam like test test like questions about the phlebotomy exam. And they said that that was like really helpful. And most of the, and practically all my friends who actually did that method of like using a Quizlet, they all passed. So I would say it's probably very helpful. And I would also recommend, um, just having like general knowledge of tests that are done in each tubes because yes there was for me i did not really get that many questions on like oh what what tests are done in like red tubes or like purple tubes or whatever but there was like maybe like one or two questions that I asked me about like these like basic tests that were taken in test tubes so i would say just have general knowledge but you don't have to have like hardcore knowledge of it so probably don't stress too much about it but just like no know something about it and i think yeah that's it that's all i did and if Anybody has any questions, just comment them down below. Thank you.